This is Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and also click on the little bell so that you'll be notified when I post new content. Now my topic today is something that I've been observing over the years. I like to watch people and one thing I've noticed is that there are certain things that make people look older. And they're not serious things, but, but things that generally can be correctable if you're aware of them. And these things are things that I have personally struggled with. So I thought I'd share with you my observations. <music> The first thing I'm going to talk about is posture or rounded shoulders. I think that everybody as they age tends to get a little slouchy unless you're very conscious of it. When I take my dance instruction, the ballroom dance instructor consistently tells me to stand up straight and keep my frame. This has been going on for two years. I don't seem to get it. That means to stand up straight, pull your shoulders back. It looks just lovely when you're dancing, and it provides a base for your partner to direct you or lead you. Now, what I've noticed is that when I get up in the morning, I feel achy. My back generally aches. Everything generally aches. And so when I get up, I am not standing up straight. My shoulders are rounded and takes a lot of effort for me to remember to, to actually pull them up and back. But I do this when I get up because the difference is really phenomenal. So let me show you. This is my normal posture. You can see that my shoulders are slightly bent, my knees are bent, my abdomen is protruding, and I feel very comfortable standing this way. I have no idea that I'm not standing up straight, I feel straight, and I am relatively straight, but here I am pulling my shoulders up and back. Look at the difference it makes. I mean, my abdomen is now automatically pulled in. I'm absolutely straight. After about 50, everyone should have a bone density test. I was about 52 when I had my first one, and I was shocked to read the report. It said, full blown, osteoporosis at risk for fracture. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. It was the first thing in my life that was a serious condition. And then I ended up on Fosamax for many, many, many years, which did reverse the osteoporosis. It's a wonderful drug. However, after that many years, they don't want you to keep taking it. So now I'm getting an injection of Prolia it will not only put you at risk for fracture, but little by little, your spine may become deformed, and that's when you will be looking down at the ground instead of straight ahead, and I don't think anybody wants to do that. So the most important thing is to make sure that you don't have osteoporosis or some other physical problem causing you to lean over, and if you do, treat it. I know that I do have osteoporosis, and so I make a real effort to stand up straight because I don't want to be totally bent over as I age. The second thing that is guaranteed to make you look older is your gait. Now, I'm sure everyone has seen older people who shuffle their feet in small steps. And so why do why do people do that? 
Well, I find myself doing it. And I said, why are you walking like that? And the answer is because my body hurts at times. I have aches and it hurts to move in a long stride. So this is something else I keep in the front of my mind. When I'm adjusting my posture, I also adjust my gait to a long, smooth stride, no matter how uncomfortable it is. And soon enough, it stretches my leg muscles and I'm walking normally. It's very important because a shuffling gait will aid you enormously. And unless there's something physical prohibiting you from taking a normal stride, then I recommend that you really keep that in the front of your mind along with posture. And it can take easily 10 years off your age if you do these two things. Oh. Oh. Number three is sounds, like the one you just heard. I know it's silly, and I think we all do it after a certain point. But when we get up from a chair or from a position where we've been for quite a while, we groan or we make some kind of sound. Now, if you live alone, who cares? It doesn't matter. But if there's anyone around, it tends to make them nervous and they might ask, are you okay? We don't need people worrying about us and thinking that we're, you know, becoming really decrepit. So I also make a conscious effort not to groan when I get up. I haven't succeeded 100%, but I am working on it. Number four is frowning. I will tell you I had a problem with this because I developed these marionette lines um, on the sides of my face here. And it tends to make you look like you're frowning, even when you're not. So here's a picture of a lady sitting in a train. And, you know, she looks like she's frowning and maybe she's very unhappy. But if you study her face, she's not frowning at all. She's just sitting very composed. But she looks like she's frowning. So there's not too much you can do about this outside of some cosmetic surgery. But what I found helps a lot is I use lipstick that has a sparkle to it, not the flat one, but the more sparkly one. And it takes the emphasis off of those lines and onto your lips, which is a better look. And also, I make a conscious effort to smile even when I don't feel like it. So here are some photos of older people smiling. Just look at the difference it makes. Even though they may have gray hair and wrinkles, a smile works really well in making you look younger. This is helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.